Social welcome champions Montpellier to Stade Bonnel on Saturday evening. They were without the suspended Sebastian Courtier, sent off last week against Reims, but there was good news for René Girard as he was able to field Remy Cabella and Yunus Belhanda together in midfield for the first time this season. Only a point separated the sides heading into this game, with Montpellier struggling to get their season started and Socha the only team in League One yet to pick up a point. Socha had the game's best early chance. Cedric Bakambu beat the offside trap down the left wing and played a beautiful ball square to Riyad Boudabouz, who completely misjudged his shot. Whistles from the outset for the unfortunate Boudabouz, who was expected to leave the club over the summer but now looks set to stay put. He really should have done better there. With René Girard looking on from the sidelines, Montpellier came forward with Belhanda. After a penalty shout at the other end for Sochaux, Yaya Banana brought Belhanda down and Benoit Bastien pointed to the spot. The replay showing the contact between the two players. Belhanda stepped up to convert and stroked the ball home very coolly to put Montpellier 1-0 An acrobatic celebration from the Montpellier playmaker whose penalty sent Pierre Crow completely the wrong way. One nil at half time then with the Seychellian public clearly underwhelmed by their team's performance. Into the second half and Hilton found Henry Bedimo with a lovely ball down the left. Bedimo's cross, deflected by Mathieu Pibern, fell very kindly for Emmanuel Herrera at the far post. The Argentines side-footed home to double Montpellier's lead and claim his second League One goal of the season. Bedimo's excellently timed run beat the offside trap but Montpellier still needed a little bit of luck, which Payburn provided. Steering the ball past his unfortunate goalkeeper and into Herrera's path. Five minutes later in the 63rd minute, Sebastian Rudis sent a long free kick into the Montpellier area. Substitute Sloan Privet got away from his marker and headed past Jordan to pull one back for the hosts. Priva's last eight goals in League One have all been headers and after conceding an own goal in injury time against Rance last week, he rose superbly here to give Socho hope going into the last 25 minutes. Unfortunately for the host, Montpellier had other ideas. Benjamin Stambouli's header found Herrera who returned the ball for Stambouli to put Remy Cabella through on goal. The 22-year-old made no mistake and rolled the ball past Crow to put Montpellier 3-1 up. With this 78th minute goal, Cabela capped an excellent all-round performance. Sochaux's best chance to get another goal back came in the 81st minute with Sloan Privat involved again. He rose well to meet Rude's corner, but the ball flew just over the crossbar. Three one at the final whistle then. Montpellier finally have a win to their name, but for Socho, rooted to the bottom of the table with no points from four games, the outlook looks bleak heading into the autumn.